What's up, y'all? It's Evan here. Today, you find me in the Grove of Staghorn Sumac, and today we're gonna make spiles for tapping maple trees. Where I live, sumac grows like a weed everywhere, even where I am on the side of this parking lot. The function of the spile is to draw sap from the inside of a maple tree into your container. When we drill a hole into the maple tree, the veins that carry the sap from the roots to the leaves get severed and a hole in the back of the spiral can collect this and drip it into your bucket. Okay guys, this is our stock of sumac that we cut a few days ago. And as you can see, all the limbs have been taken off. And I've trimmed the tip to the point where the whole stalk is colored uh, kind of reddish brown. And this is important because the reddish brown is strong. And if you have uh, kind of a bright green stalk, it's more flimsy when we're making our spiles. The first step for making our spiles is to debark the entire stalk. And I find a pretty easy way to do this is to take your knife and just scrape scrape it a few times and with two times you can always already see I've exposed the, uh, the wood so I debarked the whole stock and our next step is to trim each bile to about four, four inches, three and a half, four inches, um, before we can begin hauling. The technique I like to use when carving spirals is to make a bunch of short, small cuts with the knife. And you can do this with a saw as well, but I find a knife is easier. Once we're all the way around, we can just snap it, and there we go. The next step in creating our spile is to taper one end. So I'm going to do that by just carving about three-fourths of an inch from the top, and staying at that place, just carving down until I get to the bottom, so it's a clean cut. It becomes a flathead screwdriver, and if we t turn this in the back, it begins to gouge a hole. And we continue doing this. Go like that. And then if we take a flat cutoff end of another skewer and just begin to force it through, kind of pushing down to one side so that it really scrapes against the walls. You can start forcing out some of the pins. So I just finished making nine spirals, and the width of each of them varies a little bit. And we're gonna have to do uh, we're we're gonna have to use different drill bits when drilling the holes in the maple trees. But anything that's more than about three fourths of an inch, it's just a little bit too wide, as is the stock or the very bottom of our stock. And we can just uh, discard it 